So this is the Walk Snail Moonlight Digital FPV system that I'm going to be putting in the Phoenix. I decided to go this mostly because the GT takes a minimum of 12 volts to run it. I'm only running 3S in this plane, so I figured that the Avatar system it's really not suitable for this plane and for that reason. I decided on the Moonlight kit anyway. We got 4K in this one. It's not that it's um, a downgrade, it's an upgrade as well. So very nice camera. I'm going to install it and the plan will be to fix it to this. So that's the canopy that that's on the on the Phoenix that clips on. So I, I might look at putting a platform here, maybe a bit of plastic of some sort. I do need a bit of extra front weight in the plane because the CG is at, at, at currently tail heavy with the battery right up the front so we do need a little bit more weight anyway but what we'll do let's have a look inside I haven't opened this up it's just come so it's still wrapped up in all its in its plastic here put the firmware on it and we'll bind it up to the goggles as well obviously and set up the OSD we'll do that as well so we'll go over a few things here in this step for the VTX side of this build so this was bought direct from Cadex. Figured I um, didn't want to make the risk of buying it outside of that and it actually arrived in just over a week to Australia so that was quite impressive I thought. But what we'll do, let's have a look in it see what we got. I'll just cut this wrapping off it. So like I said this is your first look at it as well. Got our instruction manual and then the camera. So let's have a look at the camera. That's what we're here for. And I'll be quite interested to see what sort of range I get out of this as a comparison to the light system that I've got in the drift. Well, it's a lovely looking camera, I must say. Yeah, so this one has a minimum voltage of 7 volts, so that was the main reason why I went for this. We've got our SD card slot here and our plugs for all our... I'm not sure what these are, I don't have my glasses on so I can barely read the writing on this but yeah, you've got all your hook in here. So we should have our wiring kit in here somewhere, got that. And we've got that. What was that? Oh, that's the ND filter here, okay. So you do get the ND filter in it. I don't know how that fits in there, whether it just pushes in I guess. Or was it in there and did it fall out? That's interesting. Anyone bought one of these before? Has yours come like this? Interesting. Why does it come out? Is that meant to be... Is that meant to pop out or not? That's um, got me a bit worried. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit confusing. So anyone that's got one of these, can you uh, let me know how yours came? The glass for it just falls out. So I don't know how I'm going to put that in. I guess I'm going to have to just try and tack it in with a bit of glue. But the camera itself is fine. It just sits over like that. So, so yeah, that's interesting. It just pops out. So it's a bit disappointing if that's a bit of poor workmanship there. But I will stick it in. It's not no big, real big deal. I will get it in there. But yeah, let us know how yours came. Did yours come like this or did yours come with the glass in there secured? Interesting. So what I did, I've taken a photo of the way it came and I'm going to send that off to Cadex because I don't think that's meant to be. I've, I've now temporary, I've fixed this anyway so it's not coming out now. But that's not the point. It shouldn't have come like that in the first place in my opinion. Alright, moving on from that. We're going to have a, look, have a look here, we'll look at uh, installing the latest firmware on it. Got our cable from the Speedy BF405 already installed on the flight controller. I plugged that in before I mounted it so that it was an easy connection for it. So if we check out the wiring diagram on the Speedy BF405 manual, we can see the digital VTX shows uh, red, black, white and grey. They're the only two we're going to use for the moonlight kit. Um, the yellow and the black you could use as well if you want to 
put an initial plug on because you need two separate plugs on the Moonlight kit to, to run those last two there. So you can change your, your channels and all your settings. But I'm going to be using the red, black, white and grey. So the white, white one next to the black is the transmit, transmitter and the grey is the receiving side of it. So if we look at the Moonlight kit now, you'll see they've already been swapped over so it's just a matter of following the colors soldering the colors color to color basically and that should get your rx to your tx and your tx to your rx um, as what's needed and also just a reminder if you do plan to use the uh, avatar gt that does require a minimum of 12 volt output so you will need to the uh, voltage selection jumper across as shown in the picture here um, default is at 9, I'm just leaving mine at 9 because the Moonlight kit can actually run under 9 volts so that's why I haven't bothered changing that. So we'll go to the CADEX website and we'll go to the download centre there and download the latest firmware. Just click download uh, when you get to the next screen and download anyway when you get to that. After that you'll need to unzip the file and when you open it up, we're going to go into the firmware folder. Well, we're going to be copying the Avatar Moonlight Sky firmware onto our SD card. And also we'll copy the Avatar Ground for the goggles. So that's the wiring all done. Just followed the colours of the wires. And now we'll plug it up and just see how it all works. All right, so we'll put our SD card in with our firmware on it. Got to make sure you match the firmware to your goggles too, of course. And it's telling me I have to connect. This cable here is the USB cable that connects the VTX to the camera. We will power it up and we hold in this bind button here for eight seconds. So if everything works, we should see it flashing red. And once it's done, it should flash green. So let's have a go. So we'll power it on. Everything should be good. Just wait for that to take up. Do we get here any lights at all? So that's a good sign. We got a green light, and that's flashing. So what we'll do? Let's push and hold in, and we'll see what happens. There we go. So now it's entered into the mode to install the firmware. So it's installing now the red flashing light, like it said in the manual. And when that's done, it should go green either green flash or green solid, but it will go green. So in that state, don't touch it, or don't disconnect it. As I did say, it only takes about 40 seconds. And there we go, there's the green light, so we should be all good to go with the latest firmware now. All right, so next we want to bind. So you make, like I said before, you need to make sure you've got the same firmware on, on the Moonlight as well as the Goggles X, so that's uh, very important. So we'll boot up our goggles, wait for that to boot up, and then we'll power up the Phoenix. And then it should just be a matter of hitting the bind button on the goggles. So our goggles are powered up. We'll just power this up now. Get this up to its ready state. And then it's a matter of hitting the bind button, holding the, hitting the bind button on the goggles, and that should bind it to the moonlight. Just wait for everything to boot up first. Yep. Wait for your green lights to flash. While that's doing that, then you hit the bind button. One click. And that's now should be bound. So if you miss that, uh, one, just one press on the bind button till you hear that beeping. And while it's beeping, you hit one press on the bind button here. And then that should give you a picture, which it does. So that's it, we're all connected up. I don't know if you can see in there, you might be able to see, but yeah, we're all connected up now. So Moonlight Camera is now bound to the goggles and now it's just a matter of hard installing it into the, the craft.